Hi, this is Nan McDonald with the Luchek Group at Caldwell Banker Realty. Today are a few tips on making quinoa bowls for a healthy lunch or snack. First, you can cook your quinoa in a rice cooker. And the ratio is two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. And this is just the plain quinoa. You can also buy the tricolor one, which is uh, very delicious. I usually use a couple of teaspoons of Better Than Bouillon chicken broth. Once you cook it in the rice cooker, it takes about half an hour to cook. And in Japanese, you call it mazero, mazero, which is fluff up the, uh, the quinoa. For this recipe, you'll need cucumber pieces, olives, carrots, cherry tomatoes, cooked chicken cubed, and feta cheese. If you want, you can add broccoli. And for a dressing, I use a bottled balsamic vinaigrette. I cut everything into bite-sized pieces and salt and pepper everything as you go because you want to make sure your quinoa bowl is tasty. Assemble in either a mason jar or some Tupperware, sprinkle with feta cheese. What I noticed is you can either eat this cold because your chicken is already cooked or you can microwave it and warm it up. I make my chicken in the Instant Pot and keep it unseasoned. That way I can freeze some of it and use it later. You can either use chicken thighs or breasts. I make a big batch of chicken using either chicken thighs or breasts in the Instant Pot and you can freeze it for later use. The mason jars are super convenient. When I'm getting ready for the day, I grab one, put it in my cooler, and then I'm off on the road. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, call my cell, 719-505-3405, or check out my website, makespringshome.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your quinoa bowls, and we'll see you soon.